Hello guys, my name is Amit. So today we are going to discuss about virtual and physical memory. So what are these and how uh, <coughs> we actually uh, try to get physical address out of the virtual address and what basically is it's all about. So basically the virtual memory is hard disk and physical memory is RAM. So hard disk is always bigger than the RAM, uh, RAM is always shorter. Then hard disk or the virtual memory has pages inside it, then RAM has frames inside it. So the page size and the frame size are actually equal. Uh, now why uh, the virtual memory concept is needed at all uh, when we have a RAM and we have a hard disk in place. So what happens is that uh, nowadays we have few of the programs like Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Teams, maybe some other programs which require large amount of RAM to be uh, because we know that whenever a program needs to be executed it needs to copy to RAM from hard disk or some other storage and in RAM it, ex it executes. So if we have a short RAM maybe uh, maybe somewhere 4 GB RAM or maybe 8 GB RAM and <coughs> we have 3 or 4 such programs which require 2 to GB RAM so in that case we will have RAM shortage. So for that problem solution we have the virtual memory concept. So in order to understand the virtual memory concept, I have taken a 16-bit system. Nowadays we are on to 64-bit system, but let's start with the 16-bit system. Um, then we'll gradually see that how the virtual memory uh, is there on the 32-bit system, but let's start with the 16-bit. So what is a bit system means? So bit system means that uh, the bus size actually. So 16 bit means we'll have a 16 bit bus size. So let me just open the calculator. So 2 power 16 is this much. That is um, 65536. Uh, that is somewhere around 64 KB. We say it's 64 KB. So a 16 bit bus uh, can access 655356 uh, bit on uh, on on the bus or on on the memory for example if we say if we have only one bit then we can access um, 2 raised to power 1 which will be two uh, addresses that is we can access either 0 or 1 if we have two bits then we can access actually four uh, addresses that is from 4 so it will be 2 raised to power 2 which is 4 so we can access 0, 1, 2, 3, 3 addresses if we have 3 bits in that case we can access 8 addresses because 2 raised to power 3 is 8 so it will become 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so with 3 bits we cannot access 8th uh, bit, 8th address so for example if we have a system which have a 3 bit address bus 3 bit bus and we have a huge hard disk let's suppose we have 1 GB or 1 TB hard disk 1 TB sorry RAM so in that case it's not useful because at a time we can only see uh, 3 bits and at a time we can only access this many number of addresses so let me just read it 16 bit system means the bus size is 16 bits 2 byte uh, 16 bit is equal to 2 byte bus can access six, uh, 64 KB of memory if I want to access 655 bit so I will need 17 bits and the same on the same bus I cannot access so what I can do is in that case I have to increase my bus size if we have a bigger RAM or something and if we have if we have this much uh, bus and if we have a bigger uh, RAM then it's also not useful so uh, we are going to study the system 16 bit uh, bus uh, system 16 bit system so now uh, this is the system which we are going to study that we have a virtual memory or a hard disk of 64 kb a physical memory or ram is of 32 kb because ram is always smaller than the physical uh, ram is always smaller than the hard disk so if we say we have a 4096 byte page so in that case 64k by 4096 we have 16 pages on hard disk 
we have <coughs> eight frames on the RAM or the physical memory. So now uh, this is the mapping which we have. So this is a page table actually. So page table is a mapping from virtual addresses which are present on the hard disk to the physical memory that is to the pages which are present on the RAM. This page table is actually stored on uh, the RAM, the physical memory which is owned by kernel. So how it actually happens all the way, let us just see. So in, in first example, let's suppose we have uh, written a program and it says move uh, reg 0. So uh, when we compile the program, the code segment will be, uh, the, the instructions of a program will be placed in the code segment. In code segment, let's suppose assembly decodes to move reg 0. So move reg 0 is read by CPU, 0 is a virtual address here. Uh, pro program tries to access the virtual address so CPU wants the physical address out of it it sends 0 to MMU to get the physical address out of it now MMU uh, looks in this page table here so here if we see the virtual address 0 this maps to the second frame here that is 8 uh, something 8000 to 12000 so page 0 maps to frame 2 and physical address of 8192 is sent back to the CPU okay now let's see <coughs> let me just uh, take it out in another okay let's go to the another uh, other example now we have uh, in code segment let's suppose we want to access 8192 physical address virtual address sorry CPU sends uh, it to MMU that give me the physical address for 8192 so now in this case we can see 8192 maps to the sixth frame it it is somewhere around 24000 so it will just send uh, 24576 mmu will send now in the third in third uh, example we have the the virtual address of 20500 so this is the page ranges the first page is from 0 to 4095 please note we have this is one less than 4096 because we are starting from the address 0. So on is 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th <coughs> and 6th page uh, is from 20,480. Oh sorry, 5th page is from 16,384 to 20,479. Now our address is 20,500. So it will be inside the 6th page but not the starting of it. It will be 20 byte, 20 bit inside the 6th page. So it says that 20,000 falls 20 byte inside the 6th page. Uh, yes, it will be 20 byte inside. Sorry, sorry, I said bit, but it will be 20 byte. So now uh, the, when the <coughs> virtual address 20,500 comes to the CPU, it sends to MMU. MMU sees that page 6 maps to frame 3. <coughs> now, <coughs> now let's see here. 20,000, uh, this one, this, this is here 3. So it... Uh, goes to uh, 20,500 it goes to frame 3 this is here somewhere around 12,000 plus something so now the thing to note here is that the offset 20 is actually as it is added uh, into the physical address starting so physical address which starts at 12,000 something so plus 20 will be returned so the physical address will be something somewhere around 12300 so this is the actual base of the frame third frame here this is uh, 12000 something this which is marked here this will be the base plus 20 inside that will be returned <coughs> now one uh, the last example here is uh, if cpu gets uh, instruction for 20576 so 20,576 is this frame, uh, this page, this page is actually not in the hard disk, so there is no entry. So now request for, request to, un, request to reference unmapped page, that is MMU does not have a mapping for it, or maybe we can say the page table doesn't have a mapping. So uh, in that case page fault is generated, CPU issues a trap system call, uh, then OS picks the least recently used uh, RAM page, moves back to the hard disk, then copies the page into RAM and MMU updates the mapping. So, uh, what what happens here is let's see in this diagram. Uh, CPU gets twenty thousand five seventy six. It asks MMU, 
and you say that the page is not present frame is not present CPU uh, gives the trap instruction and gives a sort of order to map uh, this page now what happens in backend is that RAM the in physical memory or RAM uh, moves the frame 0 to virtual memory so in this example I am considering that this page this frame sorry is least recently used that is it was last used uh, and all other frames are reused earlier than this that is this is the last use page uh, last use frame so this frame is moved back to the hard disk that is this is moved back to here now 20,576 page this one page is placed onto frame 0 here now we update the mapping that 20 12,000 is not mapped so now because we have moved back here so it says that this is not mapped it will get a cross here and the page 20,000 uh, 24,000 maps to frame 0 so there will be a mapping that this in place of this x it will be 0 and this arrow will come on here and the virtual address of 0 is returned so this is how actually the physical to virtual uh, virtual to physical addressing is done now let's go on to the fragment offset scheme in the 16 bit system so in 16 bit system how uh, uh, if if we have a 16 bit system how many bits are required uh, to access all uh, 64k addresses so if we consider let me again go back to the calculator 2 raised to power 16 is 64k so with 16 bits we can actually access every location present in the 64k <coughs> kilobyte uh, virtual memory or maybe the hard disk but now in this case we have a page number out of these 16 bits so we will have somewhere around uh, something like this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 these are the bit locations out of these the four bits are allocated for the page number I'll just explain why the first four bits and rest are allocated for the offset so if we see that our page size is <coughs> 4 kilobyte that means 4096 bytes now how we can uh, get 4096 out of it if I just do it 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 so to access any location or any address inside a page we will need 12 bits so offset will be 12 bits so what does offset means here <coughs> for example this is a page this this one is a page let's suppose right this one is a page so this is the offset 0 the starting will be after that will be 1 2 3 4 and so on up to 500 thousand and last will be 4095 here so offset means that or, or the location inside this page so page starts at 0 the, sec the, the second page starts at the offset of 4096 so to access any location or any bit inside any byte inside this page we will need we can ex we can do it in 12 bit 12 bits because 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 so and we can access any byte using the 12 uh, bits and we have already earlier noted that we can access uh, 64 KB with 16 bits so only 4 <coughs> bits are needed for the page right only 4 bits will be needed for the page <coughs> in the 32 bit system we will have the page numbers for 20 bits and offset is 12 bit so why offset is always 12 bit <coughs> because the page size is always 4kb mostly uh, bigger page sizes are al also possible but if we have a page size of 4kb that is 4096 every location can be accessed using the 12-bit so in 32-bit system which have a 32-bit address bus 
we will have 20 bit for the page number and 12 bit for the offset now in 64 bit system again we can have if we if we have a 64 bit system the offset will be changed so that's all in this video i have for you uh, in next video we'll move into 32 bit and the 64 bit addressing uh, 64 bit systems we'll also discuss the translation locusite buffer and multi level page tables Thank